This is a self-portrait of me working. I can get obsessed. I have been lucky enough to spend my life drawing in an effort to understand a confusing world. Reprimanded for doodling in school as a child, I was later rewarded for sketching by my illustration clients. When I was younger, I worked illustrating for newspapers, magazines, and advertising agencies, including holiday stamps for the U.S. Postal Service. My sketchbook keeps me focused. I complete one about every six months. I write and draw about everything in my life. This is a print I created during a residency in California. It is called On the Night You Were Born. I was inspired by hiking along the rugged Pacific coast, thinking about the beginning of life, the end of life, and the passage between. It is printed from three carved 24 by 24 inch linoleum panels. Carving linoleum is time consuming and exacting. I paint on the linoleum and then carve it. I use Japanese tools that must be kept very sharp. It's a mesmerizing process. For the past few years, I have taught a class in carving large relief prints at the Mosesian Center for the Arts in Watertown, Massachusetts. The class culminates with my students and myself printing our carvings with a steamroller at the annual Community Arts Fair. Always a great day, even in the rain. Here you can see it in action. A steamroller printing event impresses the crowds, creates community, and generates wonderful art. One of my artworks at the show at the Silvermine Gallery is called Meteor. It is a collage from two panels from the larger work I just showed you. These panels can be printed an infinite amount of times and they create a vocabulary of images that I use over and over again in different combinations. The best art is nature. This photo is from a winter walk in the New England woods. I was attracted to the lines carved by a talented insect in the log, juxtaposed with the sticks behind it on the snow. I'm always looking for that negative positive flip. It's part of being a printmaker. Some of the most beautiful patterns come from the gray and white world after a snowfall. The marks that are imprinted, melted, and left in the snow are themselves a form of exquisite natural printmaking. This image is another print of the same size called Winter into Spring. It is about life, death, and the changing of the seasons. As a New Englander, I love the seasons, but I have come to expect the slow stagger out of harsh winter into a brief spring. In another three-dimensional iteration of this print, I created a forest of stumps out of shapes cut from plywood, attaching prints to different cut panels and hanging them on the wall. I like what happens when you put two unalike things together to ask questions, and when the illusion of space is compressed in surprising ways. I love the work of M.C. Escher, a German artist of the last century. In this print, he elegantly collapses space by combining the moon, tree limbs, and a puddle into a single surface, expressing three dimensions simultaneously. I like to say that Escher was my gateway drug to art. I also work in layers of color. Teardrop Aladdin in this show came from a series of images based on a silhouette of Aladdin's lamp. The genie in Aladdin's lamp can supposedly bring you your heart's desire. It sounds alluring, but I think it can ultimately be an invitation to heartbreak. I print on paper and fabric, overprinting and collaging. It's a lot of fun. The layers I collage are prints that are kind of the same but different. I enjoy compressing space and questions that unalike things ask of each other. The results can be wonderful and surprising, but sometimes the prints themselves can be a big mess. A big mess that I intuitively cut up and reorganize. It can take a long time and a lot of tries until I figure out what I am trying to say. It is all a part of the process, as any artist knows. You need to push through it all in order to find out what surprising thing happens next. Thanks for listening, and thanks to Silvermine for the opportunity to show my work. <laughs>